Hello everyone and welcome to this setup video for your MiracleBox 4.0. And let me just say congratulations on your purchase. I think you will love this device. It's gonna save you so much money. Now let's get down into setting this up. This will be a full tutorial. Now generally there were two ways to set up. The first way is having a full setup. And a lot of our customers have requested that we actually pre-install a few things for them. So as a standard, what we will do is we'll actually pre-install a lot of things to make setup a lot easier. In the past, um, some customers love the idea of having the entire experience of setting everything up, up from scratch um, because it did offer some benefits as of being able to use your phone. But a lot of our customers want things pretty much pre-done for them. You want some of the movie apps on there and you want things to kind of get you started. So as a standard, we're gonna kind of do uh, pre-install for a lot of our customers. So with that said, if you do want to do the entire setup yourself, let us know. And here's what it looks like when you do the entire setup yourself. Your unit will look like this when you first turn it on. As you see, it's a full setup and asking you to choose a language. Now, as of now, as of August 2021, it won't look like that. It's, it's gonna be pretty much fully set up and all you have to do is connect. So we're gonna show you how to pretty much get everything going on your end because we've actually pre-installed it. And again, if you don't want it pre-installed, let us know prior to shipping it out and you can actually have the experience of doing everything yourself and kind of get some of the extra perks of, uh, you know, of adding like uh, your phone on it or a few other things. So with that said, folks, we're gonna dive right into this, into this tutorial and we're gonna show you how to get this already plugged up to the internet and go over a few things that you wanna know before you start streaming. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before you watch this video, you wanna make sure that you have watched the getting started video above on our support site, because it's gonna help you strategically plan the best place to put your miracle box so that you can get the best enjoyment out of it. It's gonna depend on your household, how your internet is. Now, once you watch that video and you plug your box in, you're gonna notice it says no internet connection at this time. That's because you haven't connected to the internet. We're gonna show you how to do that in this video right now. So the first thing you wanna do is scroll down and you wanna go over to where it says network settings. Now, once you see network settings, press okay. It's gonna open up a little menu and you have three ways you can connect here. The first way is through Wi-Fi. Now, what you would do is you would find your network and you would act to put in a password to connect to your own Wi-Fi network. And we suggest not connecting to a neighbor's, not connecting to a free one, but to your one. And we suggest having over 50 megabytes. Now, the next way to connect is via WPS setup. It's pretty much the same thing, except you don't have to put in a password. You're gonna press a button on your router and it's gonna connect. Some people like that because they forget their Wi-Fi password, especially if you have multiple people in the household. And the most secure and powerful way to connect is the ethernet by taking a cord and plugging it into your miracle box that is always gonna give you the best connection. So I'm gonna demonstrate me connecting here. Now I could connect to my Wi-Fi and put in my password, but let's say I forgot my password, which I gotta say 60% of our customers forget their Wi-Fi password. So I'm gonna show you the easy way to do it. You can go to what's called connect via WPS. And if you have a WPS button on your router, then you can press it and it will connect. So I'm gonna hit okay to connect with WPS. I'm gonna go to my router and there is an icon that looks like two arrows going behind each other. And I'm gonna press that button on my router and it will automatically connect me to the Wi-Fi network in my home without me having to put in any passwords. This is extremely convenient to do. And again, if you're gonna connect to Wi-Fi, make sure you have enough Wi-Fi that's strong enough. Now, as you see, I connected successfully. I didn't have to put in any passwords. It was pretty darn easy to connect this way. Now, once you have figured out the best method for you to connect in your home, because every method is gonna be different, some of you may wanna do ethernet, some of you may wanna do WPS, some of you may just wanna put in your password. It is your particular preference. 
Now, once you have done that, the next thing that we have to do is we have to resize your screen. Many of you have different size televisions. Right now I am on a 70 inch television. So what we wanna do is we wanna to go to settings and based on your television, you may wanna resize this properly. So when you go to settings, we're gonna make sure we go over that here. And as you see, I'm connected under Miracle 5. But when you go to settings, you wanna click okay. And once you click okay, I'm gonna show you where to go next. So I'll give you some time, make sure you have your cursor on settings and hit okay. And we wanna scroll down and we're gonna look for something called display. Once you get to display, hit okay. And then scroll down, we're gonna to go to screen positioning. Now, very important, it's, mine is on 91 and I have this black area around the screen. So I'm gonna increase it until I cover all the black and on the 70 inch TV, it's gonna be 100%. Now yours may be different. You wanna maybe decrease and increase, but you wanna remove the black edges around so you get a full screen. Cause you don't wanna make your screen smaller than the actual TV. So this is built to adjust to any TV. And once you have it scaled correctly, then you're good to go. And you can literally back out. And now you have your screen adjusted and you're good to go. Now, while you're back here, Another thing you want to do is you're going to want to have access to the Google Play Store. So in order to do that, you want to add a Gmail account. If you don't have a Gmail account, you can't access a Google Play Store. So I would suggest getting one or using one you already have. So we're going to hit add account. We're going to choose account type and we're going to choose Google. Now, what you want to do is you want to enter in your Gmail address. So if you have a Gmail address, you wanna enter it in your Gmail right here. And again, make sure you put in the correct address. If you don't have a Gmail account, you can always get one. It's pretty easy to get. But I would suggest getting one because of some of the extra features that you'll have here along with the Google Play Store. Now, once you put in your account, you want to put in your password. So make sure you remember your password whatever it is, if you don't have the correct password, you won't be able to sign in. So I put in my password, I am signing in now, and it says success. Now the next thing we wanna do after this is you wanna verify that your Google account is connected and you see it is, so I'm good. Now we have to check our speed. So what I want you to do now is I want you to go back out and you wanna to go to Wi-Fi Analyzer and again, we're gonna test our speed. This is gonna tell you how much speed you have. And generally it's gonna run automatically. So as of now, you at least wanna have over 50 megabytes. And as you see here, it's telling me based on my speed, the type of streaming video I can watch. And as you see my speed at this particular moment is well over 107. So I can watch 7K, 1080, uh, I can do 1080 gaming, 4K, up to 8K. So again, that is perfect for me being able to stream all types of content. So you wanna make sure that you do have the best internet you can possibly have. 20 megabytes won't cut it anymore. You have to have a little more nowadays because everything is coming in super high definition and you can get 4K movies. Now, once you have done that, you are pretty much connected and ready to start. And some of the applications that you're gonna see on here uh, such as the Miracle app, the Memory Optimizer. These are things that you're gonna be using quite a bit because it's gonna be how you upload. And then you see there's your Google Music, you have the Play Store, and inside the Play Store, you may not need it much, but if you wanna get some games and try them out, some of them may or may not work depending on uh, how old they are. But you're gonna have a lot of different apps that you may wanna add. A lot of them are free and some of them cost, but. I wouldn't suggest adding any of the ones that cost because a lot of this content is gonna be already included into your open source apps. Now, what is an open source app? An open source application is applications that allow you to have open source. Now, we also have what's called the Memory Optimizer. This is one of the most phenomenal applications on any streaming device. We're gonna cover that later, but you also have your Miracle app, which gives you instant access to download the latest and greatest updated applications or your third-party open source application to your Miracle Box. Now, let me show you. What you see here below the Memory Optimizer is 
you see a lot of different apps. So as you go through here, you'll see I have different apps set up on my unit. I have my team viewer. I have different streaming apps and I have different apps I got from the Play Store or different apps I may have downloaded through the Miracle Box. And again, these are things you can get from Google or you can get them directly through our Miracle Downloader. So let's kind of go here and I'm gonna show you something. If you wanna get started watching a movie, here's an open source application called Cinema Free. Now, when you open Cinema Free, you'll immediately have access to start to be able to stream movies. Now, you're gonna see here where it's asking for a new version. And actually, if you have a Miracle Box, we're gonna update that version for you. So I'm gonna hit cancel here. But as you see, right off the press, you have access to start streaming some movies. Now, on our support site, we'll show you different ways to get movies in HD. We'll show you real debris. We'll show you how to enhance your viewing experience. But yes, you can access movies now and you can start streaming. And if you want to improve the quality, again, for pennies, you can do that and have a really good movie experience. So folks, that is how to connect to our Miraclebox 4.0 via internet. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more tips.